In this video, we are going to discuss ping. Ping is one of the most common utility used by network engineers to check connectivity. Hi, my name is Sudhanshu and on behalf of iMedia team, I welcome you to this video. So let's talk about Packet Internet Gropper or ping in short. Basically for this, ICMP Internet Control Message Protocol is used. Okay, And the main benefit or the main utility of ping is that we want to check connectivity between a source and a destination whether you know we have connectivity to something or not. Okay, Now for this what happens is source generates an ICMP echo request. Okay, It's kind of like a shout out to the destination saying like okay uh, if you receive this give me a reply back so that I know that you are there. Okay, so let's look at it from an example point of view. Okay, now uh, when you pay attention to this, okay, uh, what I have here is suppose I have this PC 1.0.0.11 which wants to communicate with this server 3.0.0.11. Now, what we can do is we can have a ping packet. Okay, for a ping packet, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create an ICMP echo request okay suppose PC tries to ping this server it's going to create an ICMP echo request okay then it will put a layer 3 header on it okay in the layer 3 header the source IP I'm writing in short 1.0.0.11 and destination IP will be 3.0.0.11 and we are assuming here R1, R2, R3 know about all the different networks for this we might have to utilize a routing protocol or we might use static routing but that is for another video so source ip 1.0.0.11 3.0.0.11 and obviously it will put a layer 2 header as well but let's ignore that for a moment and this pc is going to send a packet icmp echo request now what does r1 do r1 looks at the destination ip address looks up in the routing table it routes it out further to r2 similar thing r2 looks at its routing table, checks the destination IP address and routes it further here. Now, when this finally reaches the server, okay, server will look at this ICMP request, echo request and say like, okay, that means this person needs a reply from me, okay. Since the server got it, what it will do is, it will create an ICMP echo reply. That ICMP echo reply will have a layer 3 header. Now this time the source and destination will be flipped. So source IP will be 3.0.0.11, destination IP will be 1.0.0.11 and this echo reply will be sent by this server. Similarly just like R3 looked up in the routing table for this echo request that was coming from this PC to server, similarly server will look at the destination now and will route uh, R3 will route it out here, similarly R2 will route it out here and once PC gets a reply, okay, it shows you in the command prompt or whatsoever, you know, terminal where you are checking it that, okay, I got a reply from this. Let's take an example, okay, what, uh, and let's see a demo of it, okay. What I'm uh, doing is I'm going to run opening command prompt here and what I've done in the command prompt is, uh, I'm uh, just quickly trying to ping 1.1.1 okay now this is a Cloudflare public DNS server okay it will always be up so now when people see this they think okay uh, this is just one-way communication this is not one-way communication it checked the communication in both ways okay we sent an ICMP echo request to this 1.1.1.1 server and we got an ICMP echo reply that is why you are able to see that okay there is a reply from 1.1.1.1 okay so it only shows us this if it has really a reply suppose I'll just try to ping something which I know for sure doesn't exist in my network okay let's say I ping 192.168.0.1 now for this it again generated an ICMP echo request, destination IP is 192.168.0.1 but now since 
the isco request is not reaching its destination we are getting a request timeout a request timeout means that we didn't get a icmp eco reply for this particular uh, ping request or icmp eco request okay i think that's pretty much it about the basics of ping thank you for watching